Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 678 of Fallout 4. The last episode was a Quincy... I don't... I, wait, wait a minute, what? It said I discovered, like, the Quincy... Quincy Quarry or Quincy Ruins or... or not Quincy Ruins. It, it called this Quincy something or another. I could have sworn. But it only says Vault 88 now. There's an entrance down here to Vault 88, apparently. And, I don't know, I think, it, I think it renamed itself or something. I don't know, that seems weird. But anyway, there's a ton of ghouls here. We obviously dealt with all of them. This is technically in the next grid, but I think I'm going to hit it up. Uh, also, it said Hyde Park was cleared before. Now Hyde Park's not cleared. Dude, this is weird. I should probably go to Jamaica Plain first. You know what? I want to go to Vault 88, but what I should do first, because my inventory is full, Codsworth's inventory is full. Okay, so my, my hulking death machine... Inventory is full. We'll go to Jamaica Plain real fast. Right over here. Let's drop everything off, eat, sleep, make it morning. That way we have a full inventory ready to go for Vault 88. Because I don't want to sit there and keep doing individual looting thingies. That'd just be annoying. But, uh... I could have swore I called this, like, the Quincy Ruins or the Quincy something or another. And now all of a sudden it's the... It's Vault 88. Yeah, look at that. There's a raider up there. This is Hyde Park. We cleared this place out. Jeez, so Quincy ruins down that way spawned its enemies again. There's there's my pa my blaze my place. I don't see my base and my place. My my blaze. My my pa my my place over there. <laughs> but look, those dudes spawned it again. I mean one of them was a legendary before. So I might just go to base. Deposit everything. Store everything. Run over there. Kill the legendary and come back because, hey man, <laughs> free stuff. <laughs> I ain't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. No, thank you. Anyway, Condreth has pretty much all the junk items, and that, that explains that. Uh, the baseball bat, it's three pounds, but I kind of want to keep it because I don't want to lose it. And I think ammunition is the current issue when it comes to my weight. 44, I don't need that much. 45. In fact, I'm using the 10 millimeter at the moment. Because I got it, the kneecapper one, and I am loving it. Like, it is so fun. Yeah, I'll deposit half of these fusion cores. That's a heck of a lot of weight, too. But yeah, I'm, I'm basically crippling every enemy I shoot. And there's something just hilarious about this. Like, there's a raider sitting up in this, uh... The, 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 this, like... C C Codsworth, you gotta stop that. Huh? <laughs> Codsworth does what Codsworth wants. But he was sitting up in, like, a, uh... It was like a little pillbox of sorts. A little, um... Little tower, little guard tower, if you will, and he was just looking down at me. I look up at him, I shoot him like twice, and then I cripple him. And then he falls to the ground, and he's sitting there trying to like shoot me as he's as he's sitting on the ground, and he can't get a, a beat on me because he's on the ground and he can't look over the wall. <laughs> oh, just the, the shenanigans that ensue because of this are great. I will thoroughly enjoy this weapon. Cage armor. I did not mean to put that piece away. That is typically what ends up happening. Uh, Bethesda, please. There's probably a mod for this, but uh, I will never understand the ability to pull off a piece of your armor. Your power armor, which I don't remember where, I, where, where it is. I don't see it in here. Uh, it's probably calibrated. Yeah. I, I, I accidentally just d pulled off a whole piece of my power armor. Thanks. I don't know why that's a thing. I don't know why when you're manipulating your inventory you're able to do that, but I've dealt with it for 678 episodes. I suppose I can keep going. <laughs> that, just, that just that still just drives me and saying that that's a thing. Uh, rat stag. I got tons of raider armor. They were all raiders. They were all ghouls, but uh, there was quite a few of them. Still have that silver shroud crap. I'm not really worried about it right now. It's very lightweight. Still need to turn it in. I think I have to go. To the, I think I have to go to the Roxbury for that. I think that's where the guy was. Uh, that or the uh, the memory den. Pretty sure that has something to do with good neighbor. 360 on the weight, but that is also because this is in my inventory. Uh, that'll that'll go bye bye here in a sec. Gask mask is Garbo. Should have quite a few things under this category, the aid category to put away. Gumdrop stout, yeah. All right, more rat meat, mute fruit, Nuka Cora, purified water. I'm getting quite a bit of purified water in my inventory that I don't really need to be lugging around. I might want to deposit some of that. In fact, let me split up some of these stim packs. I'll split it in like about about in half, just to get rid of some extra weight. Robo repair kit. Time. I'm just gonna hang on to them. That mylark meat. I should eat whiskey. Don't need, don't need rat away, don't need rat X. God, I love my solar powered. All right, jet, bow brows, booze, don't need you, blood fly meat, blood leaf, no. So 10 grilled rats tag is a lot, that's 10 pounds, but eh, food's food. Don't need you. 
And I emptied out my inventory, uh, for the most part, besides the missiles, looking pretty swell. We'll lose 21 pounds when I put this thing back on my armor. But yeah, like, I just took off my leg. Just, just, remove the power armor leg. I hate that. Oh, it drives me nuts. Okay, you. Here you go. Now you're all happy. Pop save. Um, the only way I guess I can sleep is if I, oh no, I, I put a bed down here. All the other beds are up top. Hoping that this doesn't despawn any of them. I'll sleep for a few hours, make it day, and solar power will kick in now, my rads will be gone, and it'll be lovely. Noise. It is day. Happy days. Consworth's inventory is cleaned out, minus... Consworth, I'll never be able to fix your, like, your derp, though. I mean, just the way you, the, the way you lean back when you walk, because you get stuck. It's like that one thing that happened to me when I was in my power armor. My character had his head lean, like, really far forward, like he was looking down all the time. But he was, uh, but he was, like, like in conversation like that. Codsworth has the opposite problem. He's always looking up. My character was always looking down. It's a really weird thing to have going on. 224 in the weight category, considering I'm carrying an extra two weapons and some extra ammunition. And I do have, uh, Zeke's jean jacket and all that crap on me. Uh, uh, that's fair enough. I'll take that. Plus the 10 pounds of, uh, the, the food. Works for me. Six fusion cores as well. Whatever. All good. All good. Please tell me that these guys did not despawn. Probably kill them all, grab their items, and drop it back off. I'm supposed to be going to Vault 88, but the prospect of another legendary, man. I mean, I just got this weapon a few episodes back. If I can get another great one, I ain't gonna look. I ain't gonna complain. I mean, there's just there's just nothing to scoff at. I think we use this gun as much fun as it would be to use the uh, kneecapper. I want to kill these dudes. Why did why why the foul mouth? Get some motherfucker. I don't want any from you, lady. You're ugly. Any legendaries in here? I'm not seeing any legend. Oh my god, another frag mine spawned in. That's a bottle cap mine right at, right at my base. Codsworth, Codsworth, no! Look out! <laughs> Jeez. Anybody else? Come on, poke, poke your head. I can see your head, but I can't hit it. Not through the fence. It doesn't work that way. Alright, I'm coming over to you. <laughs> Just like zooming in. <laughs> I crippled him. I mean, I guess explosive also has a good chance of crippling these people. Come on, put your ugly head out of there. Yeah, put your ugly head out in the open. I'll take it. Uh, all mine. Any other legendaries? Come on, there was a legendary before here. You're not legendary. There's got to be one of you here. Even the ammo box spawned back in again. Damn, dude. Oh, nope, you're not legendary. One way what? I, I didn't quite catch that. Finish your sentence. Finish your sentence, sir. Finish your sentence. Uh, okay. Just another random dead person. I don't recall looting that one, but okay. Anybody home? Who's up here? Anybody? Looks like I got robbed out of a legendary. Unless there's still somebody nearby. It's even playing the fancy music again. We came up here and we got a comic book last time. And the, I find it really weird sometimes the way the game just chooses to spawn certain items in again. We were just God. here, but hey, it's a lot of loot. I'll take it. Um, there was a guy over on this roof here, right? He should be in this little box. Yep, I can see his weapon. No legendaries. That's the only reason I came over here. I thought there might have been another legendary. Eh, so be it. I'll take it. If I can get that cat mine too, I'd like to do that. That would that would be swell. That's that's the money right there. If I decide to sell it, yeah, I'll see any more any more raiders here. Sure, I'll take some bones. The guy, they just have bones and a uh, a bucket. Um. Um. <laughs> what? Codsworth is evolving? He is now a crab? <laughs> what? See, just, you can't explain that. What? He's now a crab? The thudding! It's like Liberty Prime's walking around or something, man. Just another random cat mine. Get over here, Cosworth. TP to me. What? There is always something going on with Codsworth. 
there was always something going on with him. Something's always broken. Oh my god. He makes me think of- he reminds me of a Mirelurk. Mireworth. Um, Codslurk. Uh, just combining the names here. Listen to him, you can hear him thumping in the distance. Him. What? This oh I just put my kneecapper away. This this freaking game, dude. Like this freaking game. What explains that? Did he fall and somehow become like crippled and maybe that did it? Like what's going on? Why is he thumping all of a sudden and walking like a mire lurk? Um <laughs> inexplicable. Seemingly inexplicable. <laughs> Alright, what, whatever. It's, it's just typical Cotsworth things. Alright, um... <laughs> oh my god, where did the extra weight come from? Where did the extra weight... The toast? No, that's, that's, a, that's not even remotely. Uh, I pressed T, I stored all the junk. Meyerlich meat, Salisbury steak? No, I don't have a lot of drugs that I'm aware of that I picked up. Only that, Salisbury steak, you actually get rid of that. Eh, whatever. Do you have anything in your inventory? Hold still, hermit yes, crab. Yes. No. Yes, sir. He's a... He's... He's a mire lurk now. Do... Do what? What? How? How do you explain this? I can't. I don't know why that fascinates me so, but I mean, he's been following me for how many episodes now, and that's never been an issue. Now I just keep he hearing these random thumps. I thought something spawned next to me and was going to eat my face off. It's freaking Codsworth being all broken. He, he walks normally, but when he idles, he can't help himself. I have never seen that before, ever. I wonder if that's like something that's exclusive to Sentry bots, if like... I don't know if they're, if they're in, like maybe if they're on terrain that they can't normally roll. Do they do they turn into crabs and start doing that? Like, what's what's the deal? Yeah, the water looks awfully yellow during the day. It was like really dark and green last time we were here. Hmm. All right, well we're we're going to Vault 88 now with our uh, our hermit crab buddy. I gotta reassign the kneecapper to the three category because I pressed three and it wasn't working. Let me re just like redo the whole thing. Now will it work? There you go. I pressed three and it wasn't working, so I just took it off, put it back on. Vault 88. Maybe, maybe Hermit Crab Codsworth will still be here. I'm wondering if loading the instance will change him. What? What? Like why? He he teleported to me, then it started happening. <laughs> I give up. I give up trying to make a rhyme or reason to this game. I just, I just, I'm. What? No, I'll never stop. That's the vault doors no. were meant to withstand a direct nuclear strike. Your attempts to breach this facility are laughable. Have Leave at once, or there will be consequences. I'm game for consequences. Vault Tech will not forgive this vandalism. I'm gonna say, are they gonna become hostile? Interesting. Oh no, they're not talking to me. They're talking to these dudes. Does this mean, like, somebody in the vault's still alive, but their voice makes me think they're a ghoul? It sounds like whoever is here might actually be a vault Tech employee, but they turned into a ghoul. Boink. Boink. Man, that is just some assassin assassination tier shit. Are you still a hermit crab? You look like a hermit crab. He sounds like a hermit crab. Hey, buddy. Nice face. I'm gonna borrow that. Come on, it's a 75. Three quarters of the way there. All right. When will you tire of this? Ooh, man, you got a lot of stuff. Utility. I'm just gonna press the button, and you're you're gonna laugh because I'm gonna walk right in there. Anything up here? Nothing. Okay. Just. I. J <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I can't even. All right. How about you shut up, lady? I, I think you're a lady. You sound like a smoker or a ghoul. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna open this door now and upset you. I like how it's probably 
The animation for using your Pip-Boy would probably be playing right now, but I'm in power armor. What? You have a Pip-Boy? Wait. Are you Voltec? Have you finally come to save me? Please. I'm trapped behind a mountain of rubble. The key to freeing me is getting the workshop operational. First, lift the security lockdown and get to the reactor room. Hmm. She changed her tune pretty quickly. Now she wants my help. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why she was bothering to yell at these dudes saying you're never going to get in if they can only ever it's get been in. Hard to maintain the faith. The pit boy. So many years. Oh god, the sound. But you can assure Dr. Braun, if he's even still around, that I have used the time productively. The great work is ready to begin. Yeah, she sounds like a bad guy. <laughs> but why would she be wasting your time telling them they're never going to get in here? I mean, just ignore them. But yep, looks like they turned into a ghoul. I'm wagering she turned into a ghoul. And I don't know if you heard that. I'm pretty sure you did. But when I went into Vats, like, her voice just hit, like, a new... She sounded like a, she sounded like a cat. Like, it was like, Row! like, like that. Like, it got distorted. It was freaky. We got ghouls to deal with. Hey, buddy. Level 129, man. Damn. That sneak attack. Sorry, bud. Sorry, Mr. Ghoul. No more. No, no, what? Can't jump. No more. Can I just, like, close it? Yeah, you just press the button. I'm assuming if uh, I wasn't in power armor, it probably would have done the, like, the really cool animation that you only see twice in the game. Sucks that I didn't get to see it there. But uh, not like we haven't seen it before. It's, it's a really funny little animation. I like it. But they, you never see it. It's like in the beginning of the game. That's it. We are still detected. Hey, a Vault 88 jumpsuit times 10. Damn, dude. Pip. Pip Boy added. What? R really? Wait a minute. You can get another Pip Boy? What the hell am I going to do with it? Dude. I'm getting multiple Pip Boys. Can I, can I just, like, give people Pip Boys? Like, give it all. You want a Pip Boy? Where's it show up? Probably miscellaneous, if I had to guess. Maybe it's, like, a quest item. Miscellaneous. Let's see here. Pip Boy 13. Damn, dude. What the hell am I going to do with 13 Pip Boys? Other than be a badass, I need Codsworth to get over here. I need to give him my items. Dude, he's just he's being a hermit crab. Or a Meyer Lurk or something or another. <laughs> can I see this person in here? Oh. Hey buddy. I can't uh can't see them with bats. Alright, so I gotta get to that terminal. It's pretty easy, you should just have to loop around. Codsworth, I really need you to TP in here, dude. And stop being a hermit crab off in the distance, man. Silver fork. Board. So what twisted things were they doing in this vault that she claimed that her work has been going splendidly all this time? Uh, I'm sure she was up to no good. Uh, <laughs> typical vault tech shenanigans about to ensue, yeah? All right, I don't have AP because I don't have you know, my inventory freed up, so I can't use like big crit beefy crits on somebody. I might try and jump out and hit me in the face. This will be fun. vault tech workshop? This won't work without a control board. What is all this stuff about? What am I getting myself into here? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Godsworth, please. Sometime soon. Hey, buddy. Mmm. I do need a, uh... I need, like, a smidge of a crit. So, yeah, I'll hit you. Sorry, man. You dead. Requires terminal. Alright. Well, we can't do that yet. That's how we get. This is, should be how we. Hey, there you are. This should be how we get to the room. Stop moving like a hermit crab. You're freaking me out. You are absolutely freaking me out. And I guess it is the junk category that is contributing to my weight. Not to mention the fact that I uh, picked up some heavy metal armor. Not like heavy metal, like in like music, like good music or anything, but um, no, like armor. Uh, yeah, you sturdy combat armor, gross. And then 10 of these, and they weigh one. Okay, yeah. I'm guessing they look exactly the same as the Vault 111 jumpsuits, minus the number. Gonna gonna wager that's the case. There we go. We're 130 pounds underweight. I'm happy with that. I can I can resume my duties. Just the, the sound effects, dude. You're scaring me. 
Okay, that guy should just be like right through this door. Can I open this? Yep. Withered Feral Ghoul. Don't need any crits, so just kill him. Sorry, bud. Godsworth, stop walking! <laughs> it's, it's so creepy! It's so creepy! Uh, I'll get your lockdown turned off here in a second, person. Hold on. Just checking to see if there's anything good or fancy in here. Any tapes? Any hollow tapes? Any logs? Any information? Like, come on, man. This is a vault. There's got to be something going on. Everything's clean, though, as you'd expect. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Again, everything's clean. Clean telephone. Security terminal. What have we here? Confidential, confidential, confidential. Security eyes only. Violation of VTP 01011. Security lockdown in effect. Lift, lift lockdown. Let's check the logs first. Confidential again. Uh, October 23rd, 2077. Automated security lockdown. Nuclear detonation event detected. Automated vault tech emergency lockdown procedure initiated. The 22nd. Wait a minute. Oh, weird. It doesn't go like early to, 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 it doesn't go like oldest to newest, it goes newest to oldest. So it makes sense to start back here. August 29th, 2077. Finally got a real security system. I know the entrance is window dressing, but if Barstow keeps bringing the top brass around, it's my ass if something goes wrong. The construction crew, crew keeps griping about the new security measures. They can complain all they like. 22nd, 2077. Barstow is coming tomorrow. Another dog and pony show. Entrance is finally properly done, so if she brings VIPs as long as they stick to that section, it'll feel like a real vault. Turns out the construction boys aren't so bad. Been having a friendly poker game. From the way things are going, they're going to be here a good long while yet. Got invited to some Halloween party. God knows if we could we could still use, or God knows we could use, a little excitement around here. And then there's the automated security lockdown. So it sounds like they didn't finish th this thing. Like, they didn't finish the building before the, the shit went down. Find the control board, the security lockdown. Good. Stuff. Very good. Vault Tech workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there, and you should find it. Okay. We're still detected. What the hell am I gonna do with all these pit boys? Like, since when do you get pit boys? Like, since when can you just find a pit boy and like store it in your inventory? It's gotta be related to the quest in some capacity. Oh, that's convenient. Security Chief Anderson. Sorry, buddy. Um, just gonna borrow that heavy horse. Kabadoosh! Oh man. Oh man. That looked painful. Nah, he didn't feel a thing. <laughs> In one ear and out the other, if you think about it. Alrighty. Volt Tech Control Board. Aw oh, man, lucky metal chest. Plus two luck. Could have been great, wasn't. This is, this is seemingly. This is going by too fast. Like, I just came in here, I killed a dude, and suddenly we're already in. Like, no no maze, no labyrinth, no slew of enemies in the way. Maybe it's because the vault really isn't finished and it's really teeny? Hmm. Nothing in the toolbox. Last time I was near one of these things, they gave off radiation, but I guess it's just not working? Because that was Vault 88, or whatever. It was the other vault. Hold on. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Uh, hold on. The, the other vault that was up here. That's a Vault 81. Now, I don't know why I was thinking 88. Yeah, Vault 81. Well, it was in Vault 81, the other reactor there was giving me rads. This I'm pretty sure it was. I don't see anything else in here. Nothing else at all. Alright, well, what can I do with the terminal here, like this control center? Vault... Oh, Vault 88 radio beacon. Codsworth? Stop it! What am I going to do one day when something that really makes that noise spawns behind me and I ignore it thinking it's just Codsworth and that kills me? Okay, so that turns on the radio. Let me see, can we hear this? Like, what is this? Shut up! It's just... playing music. Yeah, it's just playing music. It's not... Yeah. I don't know, I figured maybe it'd be like a distress signal or something. Oh! Godworth, please, you're making so much noise, buddy boy. Let's go turn this thing in and see what happens. You can now use the workshop at Vault 88. Clear the rubble. What? What? A vault settlement? It's an instance. This is an instance. And it says there's a person here. What? What rubble am I supposed to be clearing? 
I got all the stuff I want to scrap. Oh, this door opened up. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry to do this to you guys, but it is time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 678. <laughs> we will open up the uh, the debris. We'll clear the debris next episode. I always find these instance um, areas, like these instant settlements, strange to me. I don't feel like they get used as much, at least not with me, because there's still the mechanist lair up here. But I don't, I don't do anything with it, and it's also instanced. And I don't, I thought I had a beacon in there, and I don't see any new people. And Isabella's not even considered a person there; like it's not even contributing to the total. I don't know, it's weird. I, I always, always feel weird about the instance ones. But we will clear that out, and we will see what the hell is going on in Vault 88 next time. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>